Shalom to my brothers and sisters who are in the body of Yahushua HaMashiach. This is a continuation of Yahuwah's calendar, and this is part 6. And the title of this is the new, I'm sorry, the correct new moon day test. Yes, my people, there is a test to ensure that you had observed the correct moon, new moon day. For we are all human and it's easy to make mistakes. But also, too, due to the environment, there are things that can hinder us to prevent us to, to see the new moon on the correct new moon day. But we're going to first open up with this verse from Songs um, chapter 82. Make sure. Yes, chapter 82, verse 3. Blow up the trumpet in the new moon in the time appointed on our solemn feast day. And in the previous videos, you would know that we are to blow the chauffeur on the new moon days as well as the um, Sabbath and, and our holy feast days. Now, there is a test that we can do to determine we have observed the new moon on the correct new moon day. So let us go to first Enoch. And remember, there's two books of Enoch, but let us go to first Enoch chapter 78 verses 6 through 7. And when the moon rises, one fourteenth part appears in heaven. And on the fourteenth day, the moon light becomes full. And the fifteen parts of light are, are transferred to her until the fifteenth day. When her light is full, according to the sign of the year, and she becomes fifteen parts, and the moon grows by the additional fourteen parts. So basically what um, Psalms 83 Verse 3 is saying, and what Enoch, first, first Enoch, chapter 78, verse 6 and 7 are saying is that the full moon day can only occur on the 14th or 15th day, my people. This is when the month, this is when the moon is 100% illuminated. Now, most of us cannot tell a difference because some of the days look very close to being a full moon. But I have a sister in Barbados who can tell me there is a difference when the moon is a hundred percent illuminated, and this is very important because of the three solemn feasts we have Passover, we have Feast of Weeks, and we have Feast of Tabernacles. Two of them always will fall on a full moon day. Passover will fall on a full moon day, and the Feast of Tabernacle will fall on a full moon day. So it'll be 14th and Tishri 15th will fall on a full moon day. So that's why you have alterations between the two. Now we also know that the Feast of Weeks is dependent upon the results that we get in the, in, in the month for a bit. Dependent upon the, the results that we get in the month of a bid. Okay? So this is very important. Now let's talk about why um, about this test that you can do for example this is the fourth month that uh, i just recently observed and we have witnessed the new moon on july 5th at sundown and again it's very important to watch the first video to understand the day because day start from sundown to sundown so we observed the new moon on july 5th at sundown Okay, so you see the crescent there. Now, this is very important to know. It's very important to understand the phases of the moon, especially the four quarters of the moon. Because when you understand the four quarters of the moon, then you understand what week they have to appear in. Okay, now do you see where we're heading with this? We're beginning to understand when the week begins and end. Also, as we can see, we, we're also understanding when the month begins and when the month ends, okay? So we start on one and end on either 29 or 30 days, as you can see. So the first quarter, as you can see, we can see on the half moon. Now, this is my personal testimony, and I'll be doing another video on this. But you will always see the first quarter moon appear in the first week of the lunar month. And it will usually fall on the 6th, 7th, or 8th day. 
Now, we just had proof from the word as well as from Enoch. And I will talk about what the Gentiles say. But there is proof that the full moon can only fall on the 14th or 15th day. And um, it will fall in the second week of the moon of, of the month. I mean, of the moon or around the earth. That's the week occurs in the second week. But let's go to the site too. Because the Gentiles will also confirm this as well. About the full moon. You can go to wikipedia.org and look at the full moon. And they will tell you too. That the full moon day will ought to be fought on the 14th or the 15th day of the month, as we can see here. And the number of days in a lunar month is, is can be either 29 or 30 days. Hmm. Now, for the third week of the month, I'm trying to get this to focus where the light is not so bright. Here we go. Um, in the third week, we have what we call, they call it the, the last quarter, but I call it the third quarter of the moon. That's the half a moon again. Now, I have only witnessed this to be on the 21st or the 22nd day of the month. And then in the last week of the moon orbit around the earth, the last waning crescent, which can be seen in the morning time, my people. Let me get this right quick. Let me focus this again. It can only be seen in the morning time. That last waiting crescent. And that's using the signal when, when the um, moon conjunction or the dark moon is about to happen. That can be on the 27th, 28th, or 29th day. That can be in the fourth week. And the dark moon, which the Gentile called it the new moon, but we know it's not can fall on the 28th, the 29th, or 30th day. Okay? So when you understand how the moon orbits around the, um, the earth, then you begin to understand how the weeks are established by the moon. Okay? We're going to go to another one so you can really see this. So you can understand the phases of the moon. That first silver cluster that we can see from the earth is it's the beginning of the month. That's day one. Now, the uh, what we call the first quarter or the half moon, that always occur within the first week of the month of the moon. And that can fall on the sixth, seventh, or eighth day. Now, the full moon, is, which is the second quarter, that can only fall on the 14th or 15th day. So, when you count from your new moon day, it should be either on the 14th or the 15th day. And remember, a day is made up of what? A night and daylight. From sundown to sundown. Okay. In the third week of the moon. Or orbiting around the earth. Which is also known as the last quarter. By the heathens. But I call it the third quarter. That that occurs in the third week. And that usually fall on the 21st or 22nd day. From what I have noticed. Then the last waning crescent. Which can only be seen in the morning time. Just before sunrise. That occurs in the fourth week, and that can fall on, on the day 27, 28, or 29th. Now, the dark moon, which the heathens call the new moon, but that's the moon re rejuvenation day. That's when the moon is resting to be refreshed so she can restart all over again, where we start the month all over again. And that occurs in the, um, it can occur in the fourth week or in the last day of the month. So we, we just, based on up to part six, we are now learning to, um, we are now learning when the month begins and end. We are also learning when the weeks begin and end. And we have also learned what is the new moon day. So remember I said meditate on about, you can only start on one and end on the 29th or 30th day. Well, this is the error I see with some people. Not all, but with some. They usually start on the conjunction day. So if they start on the conjunction day, let me get my calendar. If they start on the conjunction day, they really don't number their calendar correctly about the new moon day. And I'm going to use this for example. If they start on their conjunction day, see right here? 
I got from the 2nd of August to the 3rd of August from Sunday to sundown. That should be that first day. And because that is that first day, guess what? It's going to throw off your moon days. It's not going to fall on the 7th, the 14th, the 21st, or the 28th. And then another you know, arrangement, you know, it won't fall on the 8th, 15th, or 22nd. But definitely that full moon. That that full moon for them would not fall on the 14th day or the 15th day. And you can do the math and count it yourself. There'll be about two days um, two days ahead of us. So that is the test. Again, watch part seven. We'll go more in details about the test of the correct new moon day as well as the Sabbath. Shalom.